Hi everyone, Stepan here. Uh, I have the black pieces in this one. Let me just see if everything is okay. Everything should be okay. Let's hope my opponent makes a move. Uh, okay, I don't know if you can see this here, uh, but we played five games and I'm leading him three to two. I think this is the guy that knows my repertoire, although I could be wrong. I think this is the guy that... that uh, kept playing theory instantly so i'm gonna try to get out of my own prep although i don't know how i think knight bd7 is is normal here now if i take we're going into the anti meran uh which we played last time and it was a very complicated reynolds attack Ugh. Can I get out of that somehow? Hmm. I mean, DC4 is what I always play. So I'm gonna play it. I, I'm not gonna be avoiding theory in online games. Let's just play theory and see what happens. Last time he played d5. Yeah. <clears throat> this is exactly what happened last time. And I played queen c7. Uh, and I think bishop b7 or knight c5, although I'm not sure. I think bishop b7. Yeah. Now knight c5. This is exactly what we played last time. Although, did he play bishop e3 last time? I think he did. I don't know if I should play bishop e7 or bishop d6. I could win a pawn with b4, <clears throat> although there must be a reason why that's bad. Hmm. I don't remember theory anymore. I think bishop e7 is the correct move, although bishop d6 seems natural, but I'm kind of afraid of f4. d6 if f4 he is threatening e5 so i'm gonna go bishop e7 i know that that's kind of passive but since i don't remember i would like to play calmer moves if i can This is going to be a wild game. Why queen f3? That seems strange. Can I not play b4 now? I mean, I should castle, but 
B4 seems very tempting. Okay, I'm just going to castle. Because I don't understand queen f3. Okay. Now he wants to play e5 and mate me. He also wants to take on e6. Against e5, I still have knight e4, but then he can play f3. And if I play e5, he goes knight f5. So e5, knight f5. e5, knight f5. I don't want to take on e4, I don't think. But e5 gives up a ton of squares. If I just go to h6 and he plays e5, I can take it, but he can take on e6 and then knight e6, queen e6, check. King h8, I don't like that. <clears throat> If e5, knight f5, I could go bishop c8, simply forcing knight e7 check. I kind of like that. Okay, I'm gonna go e5 because I think that's the least bad move. I don't like any options here. I obviously made a mistake, but... I think bishop c8 pulls me through this somehow. He should play knight e7, I think. And he's, he still has 16 minutes on the clock. So he either knows the position or he's just playing instantly because it's easy. Now I'm looking at the f4 square, so I'm thinking knight e6, knight f4, or knight d4, but I'm far from happy. For the moment I'm threatening b4.
and simply taking on e4 and taking on f5. So he needs to deal with that first. Of course, he he could play knight d5 actually. But I think there I can go bishop takes f5 first. Although I'm not sure. Takes an e7. I don't understand half of his moves. I, I, I don't understand queen g3. If he wants to play bishop h6, I can just go rook f7. Okay, I'm going back to b7 with my bishop. It has served its purpose. I'm not afraid of bishop h6. I'm afraid of knight d5. Now I again I'm threatening b4. Or simply knight e4 in this position could work. I don't get queen g3. I mean, his queen was well placed uh, on the h file. He could have played something like queen h4. I don't know, maybe he plays f3, but f3 doesn't seem optimal to me. Because I could go uh, knight h5, knight f4. And actually, the fact that I don't have my f-pawn helps me here. And the fact that I've traded off uh, my dark squared bishop for his knight on f5, I think is also useful.
But if I could trade off his dark squared bishop and get the d4 square for my knight and play knight e6, knight d4, that would be great. I'm afraid if we go b4 that he goes bishop c5 and then queen c5, knight a4. Where, well actually that's fine, there's pressure on e4 and my queen could stay on a7 for example to make sure he cannot play f3. I caught up on time, we're even now. Okay, he does play f3. So either something normal or like, like rook ad8 or knight h5. But knight h5 he has queen f2. And then I would have to go knight e6. Okay, I'm just gonna go rook ad8 for now. Threatening knight d3. Where I can recapture with the rook. So I think if he doesn't play <coughs> rook d1, I go, yeah, but he plays rook d1. Now, can I go knight h5, knight h5, queen f2, knight e6, reinforcing the f4 square. He still doesn't have knight e5. Or should I chase the knight away? immediately with b4 because now he doesn't have bishop c5 okay, i think i'm going knight h5 i like knight h5 and knight f4 If he goes queen f2, I'm going knight e6. I mean, f4 is now a truly weak square because g3 would weaken f3 irreparably. And if he, if he does not play queen f2, then I have time for knight f4, knight d3. He does play queen f2. Let's go knight e6 as planned. Now I simply want to occupy the f4 square. He doesn't have knight d5 because I take... No, 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 no. He does have knight d5. But I don't have to react. I can go queen f7. And then knight d5.
Okay, I'm guessing I have to take. If I go knight f4, he goes knight d5, I go queen f7. That should work. I don't want to take opening up his bishop. Definitely not. Why? 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 He could have gone knight d5. So he's threatening knight takes, knight takes, and bishop c5. So I could consider something like queen g5 threatening knight h3 check. Takes, takes. He does have rook d7 though. But I think I still go queen g5. I like queen g5. And it may be time to start pushing my pawn majority on the queen side, but first I'm gonna have to do something about my weak d7 square. He's coming into f5, but that's not a threat yet, because I'm threatening knight h3 if he does that. So I'm thinking h5. h5 seems very aggressive. So h5, threatening h4, what can he do? h5, rook d7, h4, rook b7. Mm, I like h5. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna play h5. Also, on rook d7, I can simply go bishop c8. Ok, 
Okay, he moves his king away. Um, for now I'm just gonna go rook d7 I, uh, rook f7 I don't want to allow rook d7 because my knight is covering d8 and if he goes knight f5 I'm gonna go simply king h7 and on knight d6 I'm gonna go rook d7 and that way I'm covering my my king. I didn't want to go g6. I was afraid of playing g6 because uh, my king would have been open along the seventh rank. My bishop on b7 is not a good piece at all. So if he wishes to trade this knight for my bishop, that's more than fine with me. Bishop e3 is interesting. I'm afraid of bishop e3. I'm gonna have to play queen g6. Also, rook d6 is interesting. I've given up too many squares. Now once I go queen g6, he has rook d6, and that's not good, but 
but I have to go queen g6. I'm getting destroyed. I think I have to go look F7 <clears throat> and repeat. How can I avoid this repetition? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go bishop c8. Because I simply don't want to agree to a draw here. Okay, now I can get my queen out. I don't know if this is wise, but I can get my queen out.
and maybe get away with g6 maybe Yeah, let's get rid of that knight. Let's try g6. I understand that my king is weak and made much weaker by g6. But if I'm declining the draw, I need to start playing aggressively. I need to get my rook into play. So I need to play rook f7. And I also want to overprotect the e5 pawn if I can. or protect it in advance. He doesn't have rook e6 because bishop e6 and on bishop f4 I still have rook f4. And my queen is protected so none of that matters really. Okay, I think I have to go queen f6.
Oh, that's a good move. Oh, I missed that. <coughs> Yeah, I, I I didn't see. I didn't see what he would do. Still, I think this should be about equal. I don't think he has enough to win. I mean, I could even be better, I think. Because I don't see how he saves the pawn. Wait, could he go... No, I still don't think so. Because on, on, on bishop a4, I, I can simply wait. I always have king e7 now. Although maybe I should have played bishop d7 now. gonna go bishop d7 not allowing bishop a4 let's prevent bishop d5 yeah no draw I'm not saying I'm better, I'm saying I don't want to draw. His pawns are all on white squares and I have winning chances.
Sorry for not talking. Yeah, now I'm definitely winning. Okay. Oof. Now I just go bishop b1 and win. Okay, Jesus. His pawns were on light square, so obviously I have winning chances and, and he can never win. Okay, let's have a look at the game. Uh, this was... This was very hard. Okay, let's have a look at the theory first, because... I'm obviously not as good as this. I, I don't play it in tournament games anymore, but I used to, and I should know this better. Queen c7, castles, bishop b7, knight f5, bishop e3, e5 is the main move. Okay. e5 is the main move. Okay. Bishop e7 and white is better. Here. Now let's. Let's look at it with the engine. e5 is okay, knight f5, bishop c8 is okay, takes, takes, queen g3, bishop b7 is okay. Knight h5 straight away. Rook, uh, rook d8 is okay, but for some reason it's gone now. I don't understand how a move like rook a d8 can be incorrect. Here. Knight e6. Yeah, he, he could have gone knight d5. I was very worried about that. Takes, takes. Knight f4. What's wrong with knight d5 now? I can take it. How is this equal? because I have 92 tricks I didn't see that h5 is good rook f7 is a mistake I should have gone h4 immediately and simply h3 okay rook f7 knight f5 king g6 yeah now I now I lost the plot and I was definitely much worse and he he repeated And I finally got my pieces out of there. And h4 is the mistake. I was finally back in control and h4... Yeah, I missed knight f5. I didn't see he can go knight f5. And then I missed e5. And this is equal. I thought I thought it was equal, but yeah, he could have gone bishop a4. On bishop a4, I don't know what I should do. I should wait probably. But now it gets tricky for him. Yeah, now he's just losing. Wait, what? Immediately. I should do that immediately. I did it one move later. Or two moves later. Yeah, now I'm just queening. Uh, whatever he does, doesn't matter what he does, I can just go here, I think. And when... Okay, uh, ugh, this was a tough game. Congratulations to my opponent for playing well. I think he should have beaten me. He should not have repeated with, with rook d7, rook d6. He was much better at that point. But uh, yeah, I managed to get into a better endgame. His pawns were on, on light squares. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more chess and Happy New Year. Bye.